What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm David and in today's video we're going to talk about using templates in day one to power up your journaling experience. If you're interested in learning more about day one and some of the features of day one, go back and check out my previous video before you watch this one. Because in this one, I'm gonna be talking about a very specific feature that can help you get things done in day one. Using templates in day one is a great way for you to build in reoccurring prompts that help you with building structure and consistency into your journaling experience. For all you journalers out there, I'm sure you would agree with me that having a blank page can be a stumbling block to allowing your creative thoughts to flow out onto paper. And when you need a little bit of structure and direction um, to get those gears turning in your head, this is where those prompts come in because they help you streamline that process and help you get right to journaling as opposed to thinking about what you're going to journal. Now to get started with the template, simply open the day one app Go ahead and click the new button and you'll see that some options appear. You're gonna to wanna to select templates. Now, if you've already created several templates, they're gonna appear right here. You go down to edit templates and it'll pull up a list. And again, you'll have the option and ability to be able to edit the templates that you already have if you wanna change those. If you keep scrolling, you'll see that you have the create a new template button in addition to being able to view what day one has provided in their template gallery. I love this because they provided some daily templates, a five minute journal uh, template that includes a five minute AM and a five minute PM. That's a great way to start and finish off your day. And then they go down to some logs. So some things that you may want to track, whether that's habits, a meal planner, some decisions, uh, a daily stand up, which I'm not sure I haven't even looked at that template yet, and an idea log. So this gives you some of these templates to help you get started. I want to go ahead and show you guys for the sake of this video how to create a new template and all you got to do is select that new template and then it's going to pop up and it's going to give you the option you'll be able to name your template I'm going to call this my daily log you're going to be able to tailor this template to your needs by selecting advanced and then you can turn on the system notifications that'll set up reminder options for you you can set a time that you want this notification to pop up you can designate what journal you want to assign this template to. In addition to that, you can create certain tags, uh, which, which can serve as providing some context for your journals. And you can have some media that can pop up when, you, when this template triggers. So when you select the template, it'll pop up and you have a camera. Um, you can set it to where it's going to do a selfie. You can set it to where you can take a picture. You can record video both front and back. You can pull photos from your photo library. Or you can jump in and start recording audio. So this is something when you want to drill down into it, you can use the advanced feature. So then you got the template text section, which gives you more options. So if you want to add a section and say, today I will dot, dot, dot keep going set up another template uh, section here save it and move on as a shortcut I'm gonna show you how to take an existing template and modify that to suit your needs so what we're gonna do again is go back in we're gonna hit new we're gonna go ahead and select templates edit templates I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna use one of the templates from the template gallery that day one provided us. And we're gonna call that the daily summary. So I'm gonna click on this one and I'm gonna hit the edit button. And when I hit the edit button, it opens up all of those features that I showed you when we were creating a new template. So at the bottom, instead of saying what's next, I'm gonna put this as my daily big three. I always like to have a daily big three when I'm starting my day, as well as for my week, month, year, so on and so forth. So I just made that slight modification to this template and I'm gonna hit save and there you go. You can add all kinds of text formatting inside of these templates to help you get started. So that's a really cool feature. Now I wanna take some time to start talking about some of the templates that I use daily. And there's two templates that I use daily. One is the daily log template that I have and the other one is going to be the weekly preview. So let's dive right into that. First template um, I use every day that I'm gonna talk about is the daily log template. Now this template serves two purposes for me. One is to reflect on yesterday's actions and to set up my intentions for the day ahead. So let me show you how to use these templates and put it into action. I'm, I'm in my test journal here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select text 
Then I'm gonna jump in and I'm gonna select the uh, attachment button and I'm gonna select templates. And you see it pops up a list of templates that I've already, that I already have in place. Or you can go back and select the plus new, select the templates, and then you could choose the template. I'm gonna choose my daily log or my daily journal template. So it's very important for me to start off my day with some affirmations because that gets my mind right when I'm starting out my day. I start off my daily journal template with an affirmation prompt. And this can be for anything from a scripture I read, quotes, or inspirational posts that I capture from social media. This helps me get my mind right and seek out ways to grow spiritually, motivate myself, and challenge my thinking. So I'm gonna provide a little quote here from scripture from Philippians uh, chapter four, verses eight through nine that states, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there's any excellence, if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things and the God of peace will be with you. And Lord knows that I need that peace. So I'll, I'll, I'll start typing in, writing in my daily affirmation, and then I start moving on to the next prompt, which is what were my three big wins from yesterday? And this is where I get into yesterday's reflections. So I keep track of all of my tasks and all my daily activities in either the full focus planner or I'll use some note cards. And these are the three by five uh, life note cards and they have like uh, daily tasks as well as it gives you a schedule. Same thing in the full focus planner and then it gives you some AM and PM wins. So I'll start reviewing yesterday's cards or yesterday's journal and I'll look at that and I'll say, all right, out of all the things that I've done yesterday, what were my three big wins? And that doesn't just include tasks, it includes events or memorable moments that happened from yesterday that I wanna record. And then I dive in and I start the reflection piece of this. It's always good to express the gratitude. Gratitude always changes the heart. So I wanna write down what am I grateful for? Then I'm going to transition into setting up my day. And this is with the prompt that says, what would make today great? So this is where I'm looking at all of my action items in my planner and saying, okay, well, out of all the things that I get to get done today, what is gonna be the main thing that is going to help me win the day? So I'll write that down in here. Then I move over to what areas of my life do I need to work on today? This could be related to um, my attitude. This could be related to relationships. This could be related to staying focused on, on what needs to get done. So those are the prompts that I have set up in my daily journal entry, okay? Um, I also keep room for attachments. So throughout the day, um, maybe if I'm in a meeting and I wanna take a picture of some meeting notes, though that's not what I really use day one for. So maybe I'm in a meeting and I wanna take a picture of all the people that are in the meeting so I can journal about it later. Or if my kids are doing something that I wanna just capture, or if I'm coming by something that I just wanna take a picture of. This is where I'll put those media attachments. And it's also cool that day one allows you to take video and audio. So if I wanna do a video or a vlog and, and, and just kinda of express my thoughts over video so that way I can use it for later, I can do that. Or if I wanna jump right into recording my audio because I don't feel like typing for, for whatever reason, I can use that. Or if I'm scrolling through social media or I'm reading a book and I wanna capture an image or a meme, I'll, I'll screen clip that and I'll throw it into to the day one app. It's basically my daily visual journal and I love using this. It really helps me set my intentions for the day as well as capture the day's most notable moments. Before I start talking about this template, I really wanna stress the importance of having a weekly review process if you don't already have one. Uh, we go through a lot. I just wanna make sure that I'm staying on top of all the goals that I've set for the year, for the quarter. And in order to do that, I gotta have some type of uh, reflection process. And what better way to do that than having a weekly review so you can look back at the past seven days and record all of the wins, the losses, progress that I've made in all kinds of different areas that I am tracking within my life. And that's what I have this template for. Now, one of the benefits of using day one is that it also has a built-in scanner. So if you're already using a journal or some note cards that you're tracking all of your weekly reviews and all of your progress on, you can use this to scan it and then 
add in some prompts that complement a built-in weekly review that you may have in your planner, if that makes sense. So that's what I do with my weekly preview template. Um, I'll scan in what I have in my full focus planner, and then I have some prompts that I utilize uh, to help uh, enhance that weekly review while using day one to do that. And I typically do my weekly reviews on like Sundays or Mondays, right? Because I either want to do it while I'm finishing off the week or I want to do it when I'm setting up for the week, okay? So in this template, I've created this fresh to mirror what I have in my full focus planner. Starting off with what are my biggest wins for the week? And I'm just doing a brain dump. And I also have my, my note cards as well as my um, daily action logs that I can go back and I can look at and preview to help me list out all of my weekly wins. So I'm sitting there, I'm logging it in. Monday I did this, Tuesday I did this, uh, Wednesday I did this. Or it may be that I had a pretty lazy week and I didn't accomplish anything at all. And that wouldn't be too far from the truth sometimes, okay? So then I'm always starting off my week with a, with a weekly big three. And this is all part of the process that I've learned or I first established when I started using the Full Focus Planner. I do like to do things in threes. So every year I'm gonna set up what are my top three goals that I wanna accomplish for the year. And then I break that down into the 90 day increments or quarters and I say, what are the top three goals that I wanna hit for this quarter? I do the same for my weeks and I do the same for my days. Um, this way it keeps everything simple for me. I at least know what I'm working on, okay? And so for the weekly uh, priorities that I have in place, I'm going back and I'm looking at them and in day one and using this template, I'm doing an after action review and I'm saying, okay, how far did I get on my weekly goals? So if anything else, if anything else that happened during this week, these three things, these three priorities that I put in place, how did I do? Did I complete it or did I totally bomb it or did I just make 50% progress on it? So that's what I'm doing in my action review or after action review. And then I'm moving on to what is the happiest event that happened this week. And that's the benefit of the daily journal templates or, or keeping a journal because you're able to record what are those things that made you happy. For example, yesterday uh, I took my 16 year old daughter uh, to her first job interview and she also landed it and we were so happy. She jumped in the car and said, dad, I got it. We're high fiving, we're celebrating, we're going to Freddy's and we're getting us some custard and some hamburgers. And we're just really celebrating that moment. And for me, that is the biggest win or that is my happiest moment of this week. So I'm writing that down in my weekly preview. I took some pictures of her, which I'm gonna be able to upload into this. So it, it just, uh, it's good to keep track of those things because you know it does good for the heart. Um, then the next prompt is going to be, how did I spend my time this week? So again, if you are keeping a planner and you're keeping record of your time, you're looking at it and, and be real with yourself. If you're getting distracted on social media, write that in here, reflect on that. If you were getting a lot of stuff done, celebrate that. So write that in there. Like, how did you spend your time this week? This also serves another purpose and that is how am I doing on my three goals right how am I doing on my annual three goals how am I doing on my quarterly three goals not just the weekly big three that I have in place here so it's also keeping me accountable to the goals that I'm working on and then finally I'm topping it off with what lessons did I learn this week and that's some real you know that comes down to some true reflection if I learned a hard lesson this week and I'm going to write that down and I'm going to put some detail on it so that way I can review that and just really ponder on it and think about what went right, what went wrong, what I'm going to start doing and what I'm going to stop doing based on those lessons that I've learned this week. So there you have it. Those are the two templates that I'm constantly using and this was just a quick run through of how to use the templates feature to power up your journaling experience. And the templates do power up my journaling experience because it take, it just makes it routine. I have the same prompts, the same questions every day, every week that I'm utilizing to help me just focus on what needs to be done and reflect on the progress that I've made in the past week as well as start thinking about the future. All right, so 
hopefully you like this quick tutorial um if you did like it please throw me that thumbs up and if you're new to the channel i'd really appreciate it if you subscribe and we'll see you on the next video